What's going on guys, Mike here. Early morning in the fish room, AKA the aquarium lab. Got a big day ahead of me. Wanted to share with you guys the progress I was able to make all of yesterday. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting closer. So, one of the biggest accomplishments yesterday was getting the 150 all cleaned out. You can see she's looking pretty good. Uh, we got to prep, continue to prep this. We're going to be doing the silicone today. You can see where I've already started there, but we got to take out all the rest. We had to clean up all the rest of the seams, the entire tank. I don't think I'm going to pop the rim off. I think I'm going to leave it on. Proving to it's 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 really on there, and I don't I don't want to mess with it. I don't think it's going to be not going to be crucial to take that off to do the to do the seams again. So, so that's going to be going on today. What else did we get done? Let's zoom over here. 72 bow front stand was completely sanded and painted. Got a couple coats on there. Got it in position. Getting closer. Holes in the back for cords. And the 72 bow front. The brace was put on top, siliconed on. I'm gonna be doing a stress test on it <clears throat> in the next day or two. I think it's gonna be fine. Still have to still have to paint this bottom rim black to match the stand. And then the light. <clears throat> Finish painting the inside of the light with a high gloss white. Um, not the best reflective method, but definitely one of the cheapest reflecting light. What is, what is going on here? <clears throat> Gonna have to repaint that. Uh, not the best way to reflect light, but one of the, one of the cheaper ways to do it. Also painted the outside uh, just black. It's fitted to be hung with these with these bolts here we're going to go ahead and hang it up on top of there put some brackets hang the light i didn't want to put the light directly on top of the tank that would sort of ruin the whole rimless effect of the tank so so we're going to be hanging that light got to get the got to get the ballast in today i think i'm going to turn that into an entire diy project video just rigging up some t5ho lights uh, similar to the one that I did before, but this time with T5s. So that's going on. This tank is continuing to get, is continuing to shrink as far as swimming room. Archer fish is definitely wanting a new home. Same with the rainbows. They could definitely use some more swimming room. But check out that Liguigia. I mean, that's, that's been planted in there for about four days, came in completely green. You can see all of that, all of that red, all the change, all the cytochromes popping up in those top leaves. All that's basically new growth in four days. Crazy fast grower. But this tank totally, this, this tank is, is running out of time. It needs to get, it needs to get taken down. So very much racing against the clock here. Wanted to ask you guys a question. For the first project video, do you want to see a DIY PAR meter as the first project, um, or would you prefer to see a science video that talks about light spectrum and PAR? That's what I'm trying to decide right now. I could use your help. Leave a comment with which one you would rather see first or go ahead and like this video if you want to see the PAR meter. Pretty sure nobody's made a DIY PAR meter video on YouTube yet. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Also, if you guys want to stay in better touch with the daily progress, head over to the Facebook page. There'll be a link in the description. Um, I'm posting pictures on a regular basis, a few every day of just the random things I do. Cool pictures of of fish and just sort of the the intermediate uh, progress I make on a daily basis. So head over there, check it out. Really appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a like if you want to see the DIY PAR meter. And I got a busy day, so I'm going to get to it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.